Every city has things about it that make it unique, and Beverly Hills is no different. Here are 14 things that you may not know unless you're a local. Hey, this is Eric Brown, and I'm bringing you the best of Beverly Hills, where we go through the best and brightest that Beverly Hills has to offer. Now, my team and I is uh, receiving dozens of phone calls, emails, text messages, and website visits per day with people that are interested and have questions of moving to Beverly Hills or the Los Angeles area, and we're here to be helpful. I'd love for you to be able to subscribe and get all of our videos as they pop up, particularly in, if you are interested in buying, selling, or investing in the area. Like I said, my team is here to help. So let's dive right in and talk about those four things that you're only going to know if you are a local. Number one is a fun fact that I really like, and that is Beverly Hills has a Sprinkles Cupcake ATM that is 24 hours a day. So if you've got a cupcake fix, you can come here to Beverly Hills and you can go to the ATM and you can buy yourself a cupcake. That's number one. Number two, Beverly Hills has a really cool uh, outdoor music scene, but it's all small. So places like the Mayborn Hotel in their courtyard will have outdoor music. Sometimes you'll have smaller mom and pop places. The indoor music scene is also small, but cool. There is a little jazz club at the top of the Hollywood Hills called Vibrato. It's near Benedict Canyon that has jazz that you have to experience to see how phenomenal it is. So the music scene in Beverly Hills can also be pretty cool. That's number two. Number three, Beverly Hills absolutely has paparazzi. Rodeo Drive is synonymous with being a one of the luxury capital areas, not only the city, but also the world. And you will see all types of celebrities there. But interestingly enough, you're gonna see them at the gas station or getting coffee or at the grocery store. And it's so odd. I remember when I have uh, seen a variety of different celebrities, I would scratch my head sometimes if particularly if they're not an absolute A-lister and say, how do I know that person? And then you realize you saw them in a TV show or one of your friends that you're with will tell you um, that that person was in uh, XYZ movie. So it's, it's pretty um, unique. It's kind of like in other sections of the world, I'm sure you talk about the weather or the sports team. And here you might talk about what celebrity that you bumped to or who did you sit to next to at a restaurant. I'm originally from Minnesota, and so uh, I know that it's unique for me to be able to see people that I would never have seen in Minnesota uh, because the industry is here. It's just a little bit more common. And I forgot to mention this before, but I get to be your eyes and ears as we walk through Beverly Hills. So if you do have questions, feel free to continue to leave your comments um, or subscribe uh, so you can get updated information. I wanna make sure that I am your guide as we walk around the city. Number three is that even though we do have paparazzi, we are not just Rodeo Drive here in Beverly Hills. Rodeo is great, 90210 is great, but there is a small town feel that also comes with being part of the city. And the commercial nodes that surround Rodeo Drive are also really awesome. Right next door to Rodeo is Cannon, and it's kind of a restaurant's row. There's a number of great dining from all around the world. So if you've got a flavor that you are looking for, you can oftentimes find it on Cannon. And you'll find other great local shops, more independent owners that are just blocks away off of Rodeo. So the shopping experience and the Rodeo Drive experience is great, but you can really take advantage of the rest of the city by getting a couple of blocks off. Number four, even though Beverly Hills has some pretty great services there are that come from the city, there are some things that it just does not have. There is no cemetery in Beverly Hills. There is no hospital in Beverly Hills. And there are no power lines in Beverly Hills. All of the power is buried underground. That's a fun fact that you don't see in a lot of cities and it makes the views great, the housing stock is great, you're not looking at these power lines. And interesting that you don't have the hospital and the cemetery here, but they're localized in the communities that are right next door. As I touched on a little bit earlier for our next point, even though Beverly Hills is 90210 and it's synonymous with this global brand, it does have a small town feel. When you get to the residential areas, it's not just all glitz and glam and paparazzi. It is people that are walking their dogs or exercising in the park or going for bike rides or walking with their kids and appreciating the tree-lined streets and looking at the beautiful homes. It's an area that's just really unique in the fact that it's got this luxurious city with a small town feel. Next, 
Beverly Hills is the most filmed city in the world. There are dozens and dozens of movies and television shows that have been filmed here. Those shows include Pretty Woman, American Gigolo, uh, Beverly Hills Cop, uh, The Muppets Go to Hollywood, There Will Be Blood, The Social Network, Batman and Robin, the list goes on and on. If you Google it, you'll see there are dozens and dozens of movies and television shows that have been filmed here. Um, one of those places that has been filmed quite often is the Greystone Mansion. Gilmore Girls to the Big Lebowski have been filmed there. So check out the list of places that have been filmed just here in Beverly Hills. Now this is a pretty good stopping point for me to be able to say, this is pretty cool information to be able to share, I hope. Uh, I, hopefully you're getting some really good insights as to Beverly Hills and you might have a friend or a colleague or two that may consider wanting to get this information as well. If that's the case, please feel free to share. My team and I uh, would love to be able to give some additional insights to anyone that is interested. Now, let's jump on and move to our next point. Beverly Hills doesn't have the same type of heat that other areas do. Now, what I mean by that is when we hit the summer, heat's not the same heat. Um, it's a little bit more temperate. We have ocean effect that will come in that doesn't hit the other side of the Hollywood Hills. The hills kind of block that breeziness. We have the Santa Ana winds that will come in periodically throughout the year, and it gives this really great temperate vibe and feeling. We'll hover between 70s and 80s as far as our temperatures, and it makes for a really great kind of paradise year round. Now, I think I've mentioned before, but I come from Minnesota where there's six months of snow. It's very different here in regards to the weather. Now, our next point you're gonna see is there are four and five star hotels it seems like on every other block here in Beverly Hills, there's the Polo Lounge, there's the Beverly Wilshire, there's the Waldorf Astoria, there's the Peninsula, there's the Mayborn. There's so many that I can name. And these experiences are not just hotels that people come and stay, but locals will also go for entertainment. They've got great restaurants. You've also got the Four Seasons Hostel that's just off of Doheny. Um, so not only with restaurants, you'll have music, you'll have entertainment. The hotel experience is one that kind of goes hand in hand with the Beverly Hills experience. Beverly Hills is also unique in that it has different types of topography. Not only do you have the flats where all the homes are built on flat ground, and you have some that are regular size homes, and then you have some that are estates and much more opulent, but you also have the hills, this area where you have multi-million dollar views where you look at canyons or ocean or the rest of the city and you also have a little bit more privacy. So you have these differences of housing right in the middle of the city, all within a span of a mile or two. It makes the city very unique. For our next point, Los Angeles and Beverly Hills aren't really known for their public transportation. There is no L like Chicago. There is no subway system like you would find in New York. But what we do have coming is the light rail. The purple line is coming through Beverly Hills. Uh, it, the work has been started. It's been being worked on for years and completion dates, depending on the section of city, have uh, are planned to be finished somewhere between 2024 and 2027, which will open up the city, not only to other residents and tourists to be able to get from the airport or to get to other sections of the city, but also for the residents to be able to experience the rest of LA. Beverly Hills also has its own recycling. That's our next fun fact. There's not every community in the US that does and Beverly Hills as a community really embraces uh, the recycling. It also embraces taking care of the environment. Those two things go hand in hand. Next, but not least, Beverly Hills is really pet friendly. You will see people walking or carrying dogs, cats, pets everywhere. There's dog parks here, there's Roxbury, there's La Cienega, there's Will Rogers, there's the Canyon Parks, uh, there's a lot of Canyon Trails. People will be walking their dogs everywhere and you'll see that this city is super pet friendly. Now, last but not least, Beverly Hills has an area right next to it that shares its same post office called Beverly Hills Post Office. Now, this section is not exactly called Beverly Hills. The schooling system is a little bit different. You don't go to the public school system here, but you do share a post office, you do share a zip code. It's a little bit more affordable in BHPO than it is in Beverly Hills, but you get a lot of the same amenities. Now that, my friends, are our 14 points that you might not know of unless you were a local. And even if you were a local, you might not have known it as well. Either way, 
My team is here to be your tour guide, your Sherpa, if you will, on all things Beverly Hills. And so if you have additional questions or would like to get information, as mentioned, on buying, selling, or investing in the American dream of owning in Beverly Hills or Los Angeles, my team and I would love to help. So feel free to give us a call, visit us on our website, or connect on any of our social media accounts. We're here to be helpful. Remember, you are one click away from your dream home goals. So touch base when you can. We're here to help. Talk soon.